Hello and welcome to this Easy Electrophysiology video tutorial. In this tutorial we'll go through the event detection options that can help tailor event detection to your data. In Easy Electrophysiology there are two main methods of event detection, the template method and the threshold method. In threshold mode any peak above a certain current cutoff indicated by the horizontal red line will be detected as an event. In template mode, a bi-exponential function is used to detect the events. Many of the settings are shared between threshold and template analyses. For example, if we open analyze events in template mode, change one of the options, and then move to threshold mode, We can see the option is also changed in threshold mode. In the analyze events window, the first option is this threshold lower. This indicates the minimum current the event must be to be considered an event. If your events are positive, then it's the maximum current. So for example, if we move the threshold lower bar here, then all of these events will be detected except for this one on the end, which does not reach the lower threshold. There are four different ways to set this lower threshold. The first is with a simple straight line with the linear option that can be selected from the threshold lower drop down menu. However, this does not perform well when there's a curve in the data baseline, for example, like in this file. In this case, you can choose the curved option. This will fit an nth degree polynomial to the data to be used as the lower threshold and we can move the curve up and down with this input box here. By default, the curve is a fifth order polynomial fit to the data, but if you have a particularly curvy baseline, then you can select events, options, and increase this all the way up to a 20th degree polynomial. However, the higher degree the polynomial, the longer it will take to fit, and this can take some time in larger data sets. The third way is to manually draw the threshold lower on the trace itself. Selecting the draw option will change the cursor to a pointing hand and clicking on the plot will draw the threshold lower. To finish drawing, make sure to click past the last data point on the plot. This lower threshold can now be used for analysis. The final method is to use the root mean squared error or RMS. The RMS is calculated between the chosen baseline and the data. In auto baseline mode, the average of the data is used and so the RMS is the standard deviation. In this example, we can use the linear baseline and the RMS will be calculated between the baseline and the data. The RMS is shown on the input box next to the RMS multiplier. By default, the baseline minus twice the RMS will be used. For positive events, this will be baseline plus twice the RMS. If we increase this, a lower threshold is used and less events are detected. In the most recent version of Easy Electrophysiology, the RMS threshold will be shown on the plot. The options for choosing the baseline are very similar to those for the threshold lower. We can select a linear baseline, a curved baseline, or draw a baseline. These work in exactly the same way as for the lower threshold setting. For these three settings in which the baseline is shown on the plot, the first sample to cross the baseline is used as the baseline current value. We can see this more clearly when we don't average the baseline. If no sample crosses the baseline, the closest sample within the baseline search period is used. Here we can see the first sample to cross the baseline is selected. There is also an algorithm that moves the baseline time point to the foot of the event. This is discussed in more detail in the documentation. The final method to detect the baseline is the auto method. This uses an algorithm to de automatically detect the baseline per event. If you like, you can also hide the lower threshold and baselines from the plot by clicking these checkboxes in the Analyze Event window.
Easy electrophysiology has a number of ways to deal with sections of the data you may not want to analyze. For example, if you have a periodic voltage step in the data to check the seal, one way to deal with such periods is to set an upper threshold. This is the opposite of a lower threshold, and that any event which is more negative than this upper threshold will be excluded. For positive events, any event which is more positive than this threshold will be excluded. So if we set this to minus 400 picoamps, this large capacitive current will be excluded from the analysis as it's larger than this upper threshold. Another way we can exclude sections of the data from an analysis is by selecting time periods to omit. For example, we may just want to omit this whole section from our analysis. So I'll, I'll set the start of the period to omit to 37.7 and the end time to 37.85. We can set multiple periods to exclude by filling in new rows on this window. So we can analyze the events and see that this period is now excluded from the analysis. Finally, we can choose to analyze with more than one template simultaneously. This option will be covered in more detail in a separate video. There are a number of ways to assess and edit the detection results once analysis is complete. One way to assess the results is to scroll through the individual events using the individual events panel. We can go to the currently selected event by clicking go to event. The currently selected event is indicated by green peak. We can scroll through the events using the arrow buttons here or by using the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard. We can also delete any event we don't want to include in the analysis with the delete button or by pressing the space keyboard shortcut. And again, we can press up to move to the currently selected event. Finally, we can manually adjust the detection results by selecting and rejecting events directly on the plot. For example, if we wanted to remove this event, we can click on the peak to prime it for deletion and click again to delete. To manually select events that were not detected, just click select events and draw a circle around the peak of the event we wish to analyze. Finally, if you go to delete an event and then decide you don't want to, just click the plot away from the event and it will return to normal. As previously mentioned, in the thresholding detection mode, all of the options are the same as in template mode. The two differences are the options to select peak direction. In template mode, this is set by the generated template. Here in threshold mode, we can set the event direction explicitly as positive or negative. The other option is the local maximum period in milliseconds setting. This defines the time interval over which to detect a single local maximum, i.e. an event. So if we set this to a rather large time period, say to a five second interval, and run the analysis, we can see that the events are detected once every five seconds, with the largest event in the time interval being analyzed. So that concludes our event detection tutorial. Thanks for watching this video. In the next video, we'll cover the options for analyzing event kinetics.